Um, first thing was how do we automate approvals and IAP events? Those are the transactions that people use the most. So we said, let's focus on that first. Workflow, uh, <coughs> streamlining workflow. So that was more of around approvals being easy to make. People don't have to log on. You don't have to wait for your boss to come to work to approve stuff, right? <coughs> so what that, you can see that, right? From days calling up people, how, why haven't this been approved? We get the minutes. <coughs> And you can see when he does the demo, you can see the image there. You can see, you know, we call it Brokeh Unified Mobile App. And you can see activity in there. You have three approvals, so you can just see it on your phone, right? You don't have to hunt for it. You don't have to go to Oracle, notifications, and all that. So it's right in your fingertip. You can process the transaction. You can look at the calendar entry. So it's just all one app, right? Uh, SMDC, we thought of integration, APIs, all of that. So there's two sort of sides of this, right? So what we, uh, the approach that we took here was uh, we used a set of, uh, we iterate, what we have is a set of pre built applications across a set of uh, functionalities like approvals, expenses, order management, <coughs> HRMS. So a broad set of functionalities within an organization. Uh, so as well as some of the functionality that we leverage from MCS. So, for example, you know, we extensively used MCS for push notifications where you're creating a position or, you know, you have a position that's waiting for approvals and you get a push notification indicating that it's waiting, you know, as soon as it's created or you could set intervals to say, I want notifications every year, secure and deploy. With um, systems connecting from that. So one, one of the things that I wanted to also uh, talk about here is, you know, we, Within EcubeMe and to MCS. Uh, so again, MCS is act acting as the, the middle layer, which is sort of doing the enterprise security. The Ecube connectors and the apps are bringing in the functionality, and then we are um, doing the integration. So that's kind of a high level architecture. Again, we could go into details as it makes